Hi, my name is Luis Barella. I'm a grandson of Patrocinio Barella. I have an older brother, Carlos, that's a wood carver as well, along with me. And uh, there's eight family members that carve now. Uh, I've been carving 40 years, uh, influenced by my grandfather's work uh, at a show that I attended in 1980 in Santa Fe. It was uh, Santuario de Guadalupe Church and they had close to 100 pieces of my grandfather's there and that was a real eye-opener for me. Uh, I was encouraged at that time by uh, the curators of the show, which was uh, Ben Lopez and uh, Vicente Martinez and my parents to uh, start carving. So my parents bought me a small carving set for Christmas that year and uh, I started carving. My first carving we still have in our collection just a small little prayer, man praying. I did a show in uh, Albuquerque, uh, I think it was in 1980, at the uh, Feria Artistica show in, uh, in Albuquerque. Then I kind of just carved as a hobby for like 10 years. Uh, and in, 90, in 1990, I moved back to Taos. I had lived in uh, Texas for like eight years. I moved back to Taos to build my home and uh, pursue the wood carving, so. I did that for 11 years, and uh, in 2001, I started working with the Forest Service as a heavy equipment helper. I'm a heavy equipment operator now, and I have one more season and I'll be able to retire. It's a seasonal job, so I only work in the summer, and then I carve all winter. I can't wait uh, till I can carve year-round and do uh, larger projects some collaboration with some different artists as well. The wood that I go gather is I'm very selective. I go gather uh, Rocky Mountain Juniper and I gather it in the Carson National Forest in the different districts, uh, areas that I've found over the years where uh, the cedar grows uh, twisted and gnarled and uh, that's what I go looking for usually get one or two backpack fulls uh, when I go for wood. I go with uh, family and friends. I carve a lot with uh, Salazar family, uh, Leonard and Ernesto. Uh, I carve with my brother and my brother-in-law. And so it's, uh, it's nice when you have other folks carving. Time goes by f uh, fast and, and you have a good time when you're carving with someone else. It is nice to carve by yourself at, at times for the meditation, but all in all, it's, you know, it, it's, a, it's a good, uh, I don't know how to say it, uh, it's good to do both, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, another thing is what I'm uh, real proud of, uh, that I was able to uh, get a chisel that was my grandfather's, and that was given to me by Leonard Salazar and Ernesto Salazar. Their father was best friends with my uncle Robert, and they're always with my grandfather in the in the shop. And Leo used to watch my grandfather. And when my grandfather passed away, he picked up carving, and my uncle gave him some tools uh, of my grandfather. In 1991, uh, Leo passed away, and one day I was carving with with both uh, Ernesto and Leonard at uh, at Leo's shop. And they're uh, telling me about that tool, and I asked to, if I could see it, and they brought it out, and uh, they gave it to me. So I use that tool every carving that I start. I'll do my saw cuts, and then I'll uh, chip away with that tool. To me, it's like blessing that piece of wood uh, with that tool. Bringing the, our kids, I have a son that carves, uh, Daniel. And then I, I taught all my kids, I have four. Uh, Eric is the oldest and then Daniel. I taught them both to carve, but Eric didn't like carving so he's, he stopped carving. But Daniel has kept it up since I think he started at 11. And I think he's like 34, 35 now. Uh, my brother has a, a son that carves as well, Roberto. Uh, he's like a year younger than, uh, than Eric, Daniel and he's been carving about that long as well. My brother-in-law, Dan Rael, and my sister 
carve, and then our two daughters uh, carve. One's 23 and one's 25, Antonia and Jessica. So I'm real proud uh, of the family continuing it, and hopefully my grandkids will carve as well. Hi, this is Kathleen Michaels with the Millicent Rogers Museum, and I'm here today to tell you about Luis Barella. He was born in Taos, New Mexico, and is the grandson of the famous New Mexico woodcarver, the late Patrocina Barella. Patrocina Barella is a very important part of our permanent collection here at the Millicent Rogers Museum. He is who I like to refer to as the Picasso of carvers. Lewis was the first grandson to pick up the knife and continue the wood carving tradition of his grandfather. Here's a statement from Lewis. In 1980, I attended an extensive show of Patrocinio Barella carvings at the Santuario de Guadalupe Museum in Santa Fe. The sight of so many of my grandfather's pieces pushed me to the point that I was no longer free not to carve. I search for unusual shapes and forms of cedar wood. I take the cedar to a high level of polish while leaving other areas in their original, rugged, weathered gray finish. I utilize the grain of wood and contrasting light and dark colors to create the illusion of figures emerging from the confines of wood. Louis Barella. Please view all of Lewis's works that are available to purchase on MillicentRogers.org, including his first place winner of the Sacrament of Marriage. It is a beautiful story told in wood with the phases of the couple. They are getting married at the top with a large figure below them, and below there are children and there's a figure praying. This piece has negative spaces where it twists and turns and creates light and movement in this unique form with the very Barella style. Also not to be missed in this market is a wooden carving which depicts the story of Adam and Eve. The beautiful entwined couple are twisting upward with descendants families below them and who else is on the bottom but the serpent tempting them in this age-old legend this was um, honorable mention in the Sa Santa Fe Spanish market in 2019 another notable mention for our Southwest market is my personal favorite of man standing on his own this solar figure reminds me of one of the oldest bultos of San Antonio that resides in the Taos Pueblo Chapel. Amongst these fine carvings in wood by Luis Barella, you will find very affordable works of the Holy Family, of couples and individuals in prayer, and they are all created in the famous Barella style. Do yourself a favor and treat yourself today to something that will bring you and your family generations of gratitude. Gracias. Hi, this is Kathleen Michaels with the Millicent Rogers Museum, and I'm here today to tell you about Luis Barella. He was born in Taos, New Mexico, and is the grandson of the famous New Mexico woodcarver, the late Patrocina Barella. Patrocina Barella is a very important part of our permanent collection here at the Millicent Rogers Museum. He is who I like to refer to as the Picasso of carvers. Lewis was the first grandson to pick up the knife and continue the wood carving tradition of his grandfather. Here's a statement from Lewis. In 1980, I attended an extensive show of Patrocinio Barella carvings at the